Welcome, help us get to 10k subs and watch this video all the way through. We're going to be going over the Aegis Redeemer today, so it's a fairly decent gunship. Uh, I got a lot of scattered information about this, but I'm just going to go directly off the brochure. I know a lot of it may be more official than others, but I'm going to use the brochure directly from the information. I know that sometimes they're not always right. Um, some of the weapons I will correct because I do know that there's going to be uh, some differences there as well. So this is a gunship, this Aegis Redeemer. It's 37.5 meters long, 19.5 meters beam. It's got 11 meter height. It's got a maximum crew of five and a troop capacity of six, but you can also have a minimum crew of three. It weighs 42,000 kilos empty and about 120,000 full, I believe, as I've had looked through the uh, RSI site. It says here 32 cargo capacity, but it also has zero on some spots so we'll just have to see as it does have a little cargo um, crane hanging off the back of it apparently so with the factory power plant it's a size 5 and you're going to be able to have a maximum of a size 6 now your vector locks they are your factory engines they are the ones that open up and close you're going to be able to have a maximum two times tr5 equivalent um, you've got your maximum shield which is going to be able to be a size 6 so this thing's going to be pretty heavily armored and heavily gunned so the base of the wings, you've got uh, your missiles. So it says it's supposed to have four on each side, but there's also on the brochure saying five times size two, so five to each side of the ship, if that's correct. Yeah, so it'd be five on each side. It's kind of it's kind of hard, but okay. We'll go over the guns. You got a Firestorm Kinetics um, ACM 09 C Spark 3. So I would guess they are for your missiles um just so how many you can have and what size they are for your nose turret you've got a two times ka 11 series broadsword so they're on one mount and there's just two of them for your top and bottom turret you've got two times kw cf 170 badger repeaters which are both size twos so in terms of design this ship's going to be pretty decent on the inside it's going to have a lot of moving room it's also going to be pretty easy to navigate through from what we can see they've also got white box images in the vault so you guys can check out if you are subscribers i will show it out throughout the video so going over this ship, it's going to be heavily armored, it's going to be heavily gunned obviously, being that it is a gunship, you're going to be able to support other ships in the air and on the ground. As you can see, it's a $250 US and you can only get it through um, the sale that comes in May, the Invictus week I believe. So it's going to be quite difficult to get your hands on, it shouldn't be too hard hopefully. But if you're looking to get one, I would definitely jump on that Invictus sale when it, when it comes out in May. So look out for that. But like I said, this is going to have a decent sized shield on it. It's going to have decent sized weapons so that you guys can just punch the crap out of whatever you're going to be shooting at. So um, obviously being like an AC-130, I would say, it's going to have cargo room. It's going to have some... Um, troop room so six slots for that and it's gonna have a minimum crew of three a maximum crew of five so if you want to get this ship I would definitely suggest getting it for the price that it is because it's gonna be one of those sought after ships because people are just going to want it for the firepower they're gonna be able to deal a lot of damage you're gonna be able to use it for jail breaks I reckon um, you're gonna be able to use it for bounty hunting maybe even small escorting of a uh, mole or a prospector or just a small rock miner just depending on what you want to do now being that when the game first comes out, it's going to be pretty difficult to get your way around and obviously earning your initial amount of money, you're going to have to be doing mining. So a lot of people aren't going to be doing, um, they're getting rid of their Brock miners, like it, but just keep them with your Cutlass or whatever transport ship you've got because later on down our track, when those people get more money and piracy becomes more of a thing, having one of these ships with a few people is going to be a lot more profitable for you in the long run after you've done your initial mining and got your initial money because obviously they're going to need some sort of protection from pirates so when you have one of these you will have a business opportunity you will be able to rent it as well because there is sort of a ship share thing coming so doing that being able to rent it out and hopefully being able to have a legitimate system of using but going through the jump point magazine there's a fair few points and just showing you the general design of the inside the outside and just the chip in general. I hope this helped you. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, help the channel out, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.